The Shenzhou 18 mission has returned from a six-month journey with 34.6 kilograms of samples that could unlock a new era in space exploration. These aren't just ordinary samples, they're groundbreaking materials and microorganisms that push the limits of science. From resilient bacteria that might survive on Mars to high-tech alloys that could build tomorrow's spacecraft, Shenzhou 18 has brought back extraordinary data for humanity's quest into the unknown. In this video, we'll dive into what these samples reveal, why they're revolutionary for understanding life and materials in space, and how they could pave the way for sustainable human presence beyond Earth. The Shenzhou 18 mission, launched by China's ambitious space program, wasn't just another routine expedition. It was specifically designed to advance scientific research by experimenting with life sciences and material development in the unique conditions of space. For six months, three astronauts conducted over 28 scientific projects, each carefully crafted to take advantage of the microgravity environment. After this intense research period, they returned to Earth with an astonishing 55 types of samples, covering both biological and advanced material specimens. Why is this collection so important? These materials and organisms have adapted to space in ways that simply aren't possible under Earth's gravitational forces. Among the treasures returned were high-temperature resistant alloys, specialized fiber optics, and unique nanomaterials. Scientists are particularly excited about these alloys, which could withstand extreme temperatures ideal for aerospace components like turbine blades. Moreover, the fiber optics produced in space could revolutionize data transmission with fewer impurities and less signal loss, making them invaluable for both Earth-bound and space communication systems. The life sciences samples are equally fascinating. Shenzhou 18 brought back an array of microorganisms, including methane-producing archaea and rock-dwelling microbes. These aren't just any microbes, they're extremophiles, organisms that can thrive in extreme conditions, including radiation and low-nutrient environments. Studying these resilient life forms in the lab could provide insights into how organisms might adapt to life in space, laying a foundation for the future of human exploration on planets like Mars. These findings from Shenzhou 18 open exciting possibilities for scientists who now have unique resources to study and apply in fields ranging from aerospace to potential extraterrestrial habitation. One of the most thrilling aspects of the Shenzhou 18 mission samples is their potential to help us understand life's adaptability in space. Among the biological samples are methane-producing archaea, rock-dwelling microorganisms, and microbes resistant to radiation. These organisms, known as extremophiles, are uniquely suited to environments that would be inhospitable to most life forms on Earth. By studying these organisms, scientists are taking essential steps toward answering a critical question, could life exist beyond Earth? Methane-producing archaea are especially intriguing. Methane is considered a potential biosignature for life on other planets, particularly Mars, where methane has been detected in its atmosphere. These organisms don't need oxygen and instead produce methane, suggesting they could survive in alien environments with harsh conditions. By analyzing how these archaea responded to space, researchers can draw parallels to potential life forms that might exist on Mars or other rocky planets, providing valuable insight into the adaptability of life in non-Earth-like conditions. Radiation-resistant microbes are another fascinating component of the samples. Space is filled with high-energy particles that can cause severe damage to biological tissues. Yet these microbes have developed mechanisms to shield themselves from radiation, providing scientists with a model for developing future technologies to protect human astronauts from similar hazards. If we can understand and replicate these mechanisms, it could greatly enhance the safety of prolonged space missions and create protective barriers for both humans and electronic devices in space. The rock-dwelling microbes add another layer of insight. These organisms live within rocks and have adapted to thrive on minimal nutrients. Studying their survival in the challenging conditions of space may reveal how life could potentially endure on planets with rocky, nutrient-poor surfaces. This adaptability hints at the possibility of microbial life existing below the surfaces of other planets or moons, such as Mars or Europa, where conditions might support life underground. Together, these life sciences samples from Shenzhou 18 
provide a tantalizing glimpse into the potential for extraterrestrial habitability and the resilience of life. Expanding the scientific foundation for human exploration beyond Earth and deepening our understanding of life's tenacity in the universe. Shenzhou 18's material samples mark a major advancement in space materials and nanotechnology. By creating materials under microgravity, scientists explored properties that could drastically improve the durability and functionality of technology both on Earth and in space. Among the most exciting materials brought back are high-temperature resistant alloys, innovative optical coatings, and specialized fiber optics, all of which could have profound implications for aerospace, telecommunications, and medical technology. High temperature resistant alloys, for instance, are essential for withstanding the intense heat encountered in aerospace applications. These alloys could be used in turbine blades, spacecraft hulls, and other components that need to endure extreme temperatures without degrading. Developed in the controlled environment of space, these materials are often more resilient than their Earth-bound counterparts, potentially reducing costs and increasing safety in aerospace engineering. Optical coatings developed in space also hold exceptional promise. These coatings are used in devices such as telescopes, lasers, and high-precision optics. When created in microgravity, they can achieve levels of purity and stability that are difficult to replicate on Earth. This enhancement could provide future space missions with better quality optical equipment, enabling scientists to capture clearer images of distant celestial bodies and study them with unprecedented accuracy. Beyond astronomy, these coatings could also improve the efficiency of medical lasers and precision instruments, expanding their benefits to healthcare. Another breakthrough is in fiber optics, critical for data transmission. Space-produced fiber optics exhibit fewer impurities, resulting in faster, more efficient data transfer. These fibers are essential for high-speed communications on Earth and could support data systems for space habitats, further strengthening the infrastructure for interplanetary communication. The potential applications of these fibers extend to improving Earth-based networks, making them faster and more reliable, as well as enabling longer-lasting performance under extreme conditions. Additionally, nanoparticles derived from methane combustion experiments were returned. These nanoparticles could lead to the production of specialized materials tailored for extraterrestrial environments, such as building structures on Mars or the Moon. Through these advanced materials, Shenzhou 18 has provided tools that could be instrumental in building a future where humans can thrive beyond Earth, bridging the gap between science fiction and reality. This mission has truly opened new horizons for technological innovation, making strides that could impact our lives on Earth as well as our future in space. In this video, we have learned about the Shenzhou 18 mission's return of remarkable samples that could redefine space science and our understanding of life beyond Earth. We, we hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.